This is the query uh, processing architecture module, and uh, in this video, we will discuss about the, how the query is processed and how the query is optimized. As we know that to communicate with this database, to communicate with the database, we need a query. We are using the query to retrieve the data from the database, to insert the data in the database, to update the database, and to delete the database. For all these operations, we need a query, and the, among these all queries, the frequent use query is the select query. So select query is the most frequently used query. And when this select query is passed to the database, uh, we will we will examine how the queue, this select query is processed and what are the steps involved in this processing and how this query is optimized by the query optimizer to return the result in a very efficient way. So to do, to, to do these things, we, we have one example query. This is a select query. Select the names and the item type from products to table and uh, product supplier table and these tables, there are two tables in this database. From these two tables, we are retrieving some columns, and these two tables are joined by the join operator using the key column supplier code in both tables. So we will pass now this query to the database engine, and the database engine part, CDM parser will handle first this query. What the CDM parser will do, CDM parser will check, okay, that this query, select query is uh, which passed to the database engine is uh, following the TSQL standards. The syntax is okay. Select from all these classes are okay following the TSQL standards. If this test is passed, then the, it will check, okay, the database, this is the database, the schema name, and the product, this, uh, uh, this table name, which uh, which is used in this query, this does this the uh, user who is accessing this query have the permissions? It will validate the permission against this database, and it will uh, validate the this database uh, tables and the columns with the database. So after the successful validation, it will bind this with the database. Now the query parser will break this query into the logical steps. So the column names will. Uh, will be separated, then this join uh, will be uh, br break and the identifier on the base of the join, uh, the, the joining the two table will also be br br break up and then if the where class is used, that will also be br break up by this query parser. So all this query will be break up into the logical steps and then uh, this, these logical steps will make a logical tree, and this tree is known as the query tree, and uh, this query tree is also known as the query sequence. Now this query tree, these are the logical steps created by this query parser will be used by the optimizer. Optimizer, what it will do, optimizer will implement these logical steps created by the query parser. So to implement this logical steps, query optimizer analyze the different ways to access the data from this, these tables. And uh, this, uh, it will, this query optimizer using the factor of the cost. So it will check the cost related to retrieve the data from these tables. There are different ways to access the data from different, uh, from these tables. These ways are known as the plans. Query optimizer have different plans to access the data from this table, and query optimizer will not start examining the each plan. There are a lot of plans for one query, but query uh, at optimizer will not examine each plan. It, what it will do, it will check the cost related to the each plan, and then it will select the lowest cost, lowest cost plan. Plan consists of the operator, and operator have the related cost, and query optimizer will check the cost of the plan, and it will select the, it will choose the execution plan with lowest resource cost. And it will also ex check the, which result, will, which uh, plan will be efficient in p terms of the times to return the result to the client. So that this is the query optimizer 
who is responsible to implement the curatory with the lowest resource cost. If you are going to the this SQL server, this is our SQL server, and uh, this is the um, query analyzer, and uh, this we are here in our example database, trading DB, and we will execute the same query where two tables are joined, and we are retrieving these columns from these tables. If we want to see what the parser the is doing what the parser is creating the uh, logical tree, the sequence tree, the logical steps. If we want to uh, examine those steps, if we want to see those logical steps, we have to use this query trace on flag 8605 with our query. And um, now we have to use the dbcc command trace on 3604, what it will do. It, the, res, uh, the logical steps created by using this uh, tr uh, query trace on 8605, this dbcc command will redirect this result to our screen. So it will display the result on our screen. So let's execute this query and I will see how many rows are involved and the statistics I will check also. So now I'm going to execute this query, which will the, uh, to see the query parser's logical steps. The query is executed. And this is the result generated by the query. And uh, these are the logical steps. It starts from here. These are the logical steps created by the, this query. 4997 rows affected. In this logical steps, we have seen that it will br break the, this query into different parts. So that this one, f f this is the first logical uh, part, which is the lo lo log o project q columns. Here the columns name will be, uh, it will break the column names. And then it will break this join parts. The join parts have the two tables and the tables it will make separate from the query. And then this um, compa compare equation, which will compare this um, equation on the base of the supplier code. So these identifiers will, it will separate these identifiers from the select query. And then the, this is the over where class. So these are the, the four logical parts of this query. Uh, will be um, uh, parsed by the query parser. It will divide it into the four logical parts. And these logical parts are the instruction for the, uh, to the, uh, to the optimizer. So optimizer will use these logical steps to implement it. So now if these, these also we have some other output, which are the output where when I enable the statistics on, it's showing us that the uh, two, there are two fifty there are two physical weights involved for this query. When we executed this query, the CPU cycle will execute two time to read the uh, this four nine nine seven rows, and two forty logical steps will be involved. And now to to implement this um, this logical uh, steps, this logical tree, let's see the optimizer, which uh, uh, cost-based plan will be uh, chosen by the optimizer. So I'm enabling the this op query plan here. Let's connect with the database. And I'm using this actual execution plan. Now this plan, we have seen that this there are 499, 4997 rows are retrieved by this query. And there are two physical reads involved and 240 logical reads are involved. And these logical steps, how the optimizer will op optimize and which cost-based plan optimizer will choose. So when I executed, this is the execution plan. Um, with the um, query, uh, this optimizer have chosen this plan among the different plans. This uh, he uh, the optimizer decided this is the low resource consumption plan, 
Here, it, the, these operators are used table scan for the supplier, and the cluster index seek method is used for the first table for the product two tables to, uh, to retrieve the records. So each operator have related cost and then it will return to the uh, client. So this plan which has chosen by the query optimizer and this is the these are the logical steps which are created by the query parsers. So query optimizer is implementing these logical steps on the base of the costing. So this is the responsibility of the query optimizer to analyze the different ways to retrieve the records from the tables by using the logical steps created by the query parser. And then this uh, plan is executed by the query. Now if the, the same plan will be executed again, if submitted again the same query, then these steps, all these steps, query compilation, optimization, will be will not be executed. It will be skipped because the plan once is executed, it's in the cache. So it will directly go to the cache, will take the plan and will execute it. And the query executor, when the query optimizer will finalize the plan, will finalize the steps, these steps will be updated into the query tree. So then now the, in this way, the query is select query is processed and optimized.